Okay, this is part two. Hopefully I don't have so many mess ups like my first video was. So hopefully this one is a bit shorter. I'm going to mute my mic just so you can hear the game. But I'm going to pause if I need to say anything. Hopefully this one is less than 30 minutes. And this will be just a archive for me and other fans about this beautiful game that I picked up. I wish my computer runs it better, but I can't complain because it actually does run it. So, uh, you really can't, <laughs> you really can't just say, oh, I want it to run better. Well, you're playing the game right now. That's more of a positive than anything else. So, uh. Hope you guys enjoy this last half hour of the game. Hopefully I won't screw up as much, but if I do screw up, I'm probably just going to uh, edit a few places so I, you don't see me failing multiple times. So I pray that I can get it done the first time around.
Watch out! Those bastards are heading your way. We did everything we could to slow them down. Thanks, Reyes. Get to the boat. If I'm not back... We're not leaving without you. We'll be waiting. Now that wasn't that bad. I just didn't know where the hell I was going. I was going right instead of left, so that wasn't too bad quite yet. I'm getting closer. I'm pretty much like nearing 15 minutes, hopefully, to be done.
I would love to know what the hell just blew me up there. It was nothing that blew me up there. And then I'm have to restart everything that I did. I hate games that do that. Where did that get blown up with? I didn't... Whatever. Let's just freaking do it the right way. Okay, you don't need to see this stupid part no more. Well, I didn't pay attention to what the hell I was doing because I had no freaking, uh, uh, I had no grenade launcher rounds and I had no explosive bolt rounds, so of course I freaking didn't know what I was doing and fell off the edge. Great. That's exactly what I love to do in games. Ah! 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 Ah!
I'm going to pause for this stupid fight because I know I'm going to die multiple times and also I want my frame so I might as well have the recording stop so I can do this correctly without it lagging. Basically what I have to do to this guy is that I have to shoot him like three or four times in the back only and then I have to finish him off four times so it's not really going to be good to show that off. He's dead. It wasn't that hard but you know it took a few retries so like it normally does. I'm pretty much finished right now. All I need to do is freaking kill Matthias and then I should be done. Yeah, this is All I need to do is kill Matthias and then I'm all done with this game. There we are, here's the end of the sequence. I really hate those stupid quick time moments. Oh no, I hit the button. Whatever. I clearly hit that, but I think the lag on the game shouldn't need to allow me to hit it anymore. Interesting ending there. 
I'm not good with quick action events. There you have it, it's the end of the game. It took me like 27 hours or so, so about a day worth of playing. Not all in one sitting. There's Laura! She's got Sam! She did it. I think she's going to be okay. What happened up there? It's over. Long story. We can go now. All right, let's get the hell out of here. This game is on hard or the hardest difficulty. So naive. For years, I resented my father, doubted him like the rest. But he was right about so much. I just wish I could tell him that now. There are so many mysteries that I once dismissed as mere stories, but the line between our myths and truth is fragile and blurry. I need to find answers. I must understand. Such a wonderful game. Achievement unlock, no stone left behind, a survivor is born. So that means I got a hundred percent completion on a hard. Making me waffles before the ballet club. Need anything? Mm. Don't really know what happened to you on that island. Judging from those wounds and that look in your eyes, I'm guessing I don't want to know. Anyway, we'll be home soon. Oh, Lord, Carl. I'm not going home. It's been a pleasure to play this game, that's for sure. And it's a pleasure to show off the ending. I might as well put the credits in here. What's well, the credits roll? Because why not? this crew of people here.
What's actually surprising is that I didn't have all that much difficulty playing this game on the hardest difficulty. I just jumped in playing on hard and... Game. The only hard part of this game was is just I'm not really good at playing games, so... Me trying to do certain moves and then me dying and then... That's why I had to cut off a few things because... First, the game doesn't run as good as it should because my system is a little techy. And second of all, I'm rusty at playing games. It doesn't matter what game I play, it's just I'm not that good at them. But I 100% completed this game, so the next time I play is going to be probably to remember where everything was and just relive it on a better PC. Next time when I get another, when I get a powerful computer, I have to try to play The Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is the sequel to this uh, game here. As far as I have seen from research is that Laura Croft isn't as cute as in this game, but it all depends on your respective. But I'm sure she will be still a badass. And I'm actually kind of glad it recorded on the lowest resolution that I could record at, so. It actually doesn't look too bad when I looked at the first video. I mean, it's choppy, but what would you expect a computer like I have? Warcraft, Camellia, Dullogian, Raw, Whitman, which is an idiot, Mason, Matthias, Samantha, Alex, Joan, Reyes, which she was rough, but she got herself together, Sun Queen, Pilot, Japanese Soldier, Salari,
if I had to rate this game out of like I think five stars, I'd put it as four point five. This game was very, very, very interactive. There's a lot of things to do rather than just busting through the campaign. It's just that the game was frustrating at some point where it's annoying. Very well thought out game. If I would have thought that this recording would have went, went so well, I would have probably recorded my session, but if I would have, I would have been recording two hour blocks of it, which that wouldn't have been any good. If I were to record a uh, playthrough of this game, I would need to probably do it the next time around, but it's really not worth me doing it. Because that will probably not be the best experience for you guys. One thing that's just about some video games is that sometimes the engine can be so emotional. And all these great people that create these games that have good memories. God bless everyone. Maybe in a year or two when I have a beefy computer and can run 60 frames smoothly I will play Rise of the Tomb Raider. I think that I will watch it because in two years I would not even remember it so I might as well watch the series on YouTube just so I can continue it from the end of this game. It looks like the game is over. Congratulations, you have completed the story with an overall game completion of 100%. You may return to the aisle and by selecting continue in order to complete any unfinished activity. Cool. So if I hit continue and do this, I can go back to any place. I won, I think. Nice. Well, I guess I look at the concept bar. I should have them all. Wow. Look at the bruises in her eyes there. I believe there's a new movie coming out. I can't wait to see what the movie does compared to this game here. Ah, uh, Samantha. Kimura. He's also a cute 
character in the game, by the way. Endurance crew. That is Roth, which I'm kind of disappointed how he had to uh, to exit the game, but. Well, if he didn't die, then it would have been a game if you killed the guy, so... But still, there would have been a game. This fool, James Whitman, which is just annoying. I'm so glad he died the way he did. Reyes. She was a pain in the ass, but she got her shit together, I guess. And she uh, actually... Stayed along and helped Laura finish the job. Ah, Grim. He also sacrificed his life to save me. And they're all five of them. Actually, yeah. That's Grim, Rage, Whitman, and Raw. Jana Mahura, I can't pronounce so. Alex was died in the uh, endurance ship because he was trapped and he was injured beyond repair, I think. But he didn't make it. I haven't seen much of her, I think. Where's my mom? I didn't see much of her because I think she died right in the beginning. Unfortunately. These guys. Ah, oh, the Sun Queen. I'm so glad she's not there to haunt Earth anymore. Solaris. Well, if you weren't just an evil person, you would be still alive right about now, but you know, evil people always get what they deserve. Death. There's all the people that I killed trying to protect the Sun's Queen and Matthias, but I hate those guys with those helmets. It's not even fair that I don't even have armor. A shield doesn't help if I blow fire at your feet or blow a bomb beneath it. I don't really need to show these off because this, this is just all the endurance crew. This actually, this menu music just makes me a little emotional. It reminds me of, you know... Movie music. Well, I guess that's all I can really show off right now in terms of the game. I guess what I should do is just keep my uh, continued save state and just play around with everything dead and just explore. I hope you guys like my two part series here. I really enjoyed the game.
And uh, I hope you guys are all well through this crisis here and staying healthy, positive, and upbeat. i catch you in another video if something else comes to mind. Peace out, abundant fun, 444. Four, four.